Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Station Sydney Battle Scene. Make some noise! Yeah! Yeah! Now shut the fuck up! It's fucking kids here at the park! Keep it down! <laughs> fuck sakes! To my left, Hoodlum Poet! Yeah! Yeah! Get him. And to my right! Hajot Singh! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it's Hajot Singh. Shout out to Sanaev, Sue75. So many rhymes on my mind, I'm ready to kill this guy. Yeah. Hands on tails! I'll go first, man, if you're after that. It's on this motherfucker then! 90 seconds! Yo, when I say hoodlum poet, the truth is that the crowd ain't knowing me. But unknowingly, with my sharp tongue, I'm cutting out his neck for the crowd to see that his Adam's apple doesn't fall far from my poetry. Oh. You see, rap is just a branch of a larger family tree, which my Arab ancestors started, so it's in my roots and I'm its fruit, and you got to leave. Cause a drop of what I spit will hit your head like a hailstorm Fuck with your mind so hard, make you memorize porn I don't shoot verbal blanks Each word will splatter your brain across the wall For the crowd to see what's on your mind This ain't no Facebook status update I'm diving deep within your thoughts Deep within your psyche cause I came across something hideous When I expose it, they'll call me terrorist Because it'll make you terrorist oh, yeah. And here it is While you're jumping at Dr. Death so devilish Acting gangster In your photos you were wearing dresses bitch So, so slit a wrist Cause I'll expose the fact that you got a fucking clitoris yeah. <laughs> yo I'm gonna expose this guy until the crowd says that this pussy Haja can't sing and that's why he's never had boys always a nerd I can see it in his eyes he had no choice but to play with words so I dare him to play with mine but my words are dangerous like when I spit words with a lisp I turn him into swords stabbing at his life and just because he wore a dress and he's a bitch it doesn't mean you know how to cook and handle a knife yeah. <laughs> It all smells fishy, suspicious, lies, acting surprised, trying to flip me. I know you were all waiting for some Indian jokes, but I came here today to beat him lyrically. Yeah! yeah. Oh. yeah. Time! Yeah. It's on Hajot Singh! Yeah. I'm telling you right now that for me, this battle is just promotional. Bro, calm down, no need to get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Uber didn't show up against you last time. No, everybody's calling him a loser and a cheater. But bro, if I knew you look like this, I wouldn't have showed up either. <laughs> now maybe you do not know of it. No real talk. Maybe you do not know of it, but on Facebook there's a page called Lebo Memes. See, he already knows what I'm talking about, and it's owned by a Lebo team. And they used to post the funniest shit up, but now all they do is promote. They promote rapper after rapper after rapper. They even promote rappers like this joke. Now you're wondering where did the funny shit go? Why is Lebo Memes full of fake cunts and sponsors? The reason is because him and his group of friends bought the page for eight hundred dollars. <laughs> now this motherfucker is now this motherfucker is embarrassed and he's thinking, fuck, how did I get caught? Now I'm dead. The reason you got caught is because you bought it off my friend. <laughs> so if you think the reason you got caught is because you bought it off my friend. So you, oh fuck, so you better get off the bongs, bitch, because you're looking like a junkie. You come in here today and you're thinking that you can punk me. Well, let me tell you something. You're going around telling people, oh, I got a battle with Hajar Singh, thinking that it will make them proud. Dickhead. Do you know how gay you sound? <laughs> and the last five women he was with, I promise all of you that they left him. I bet they cheated on him because he never gave good sex and I talked to one of his exes. She sat with me in a second, this bed got rejected because he never got an erection. Oh! You fucking peasant, now I hope I help and teach you a lesson. I'll get a pen and inject it into your neck and your pelvis until your leg is connected up to your head and your tendons are getting stretched and depending on all your teeth that are bending, I'll think of checking and sending you to a dentist or medic because you're infected, demented and you are mental and stressed and your best friend left and your friend should be trapped to help and direct that you're disconnected, not accepted and you suffered depression Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Time! Round two on this cunt! Yeah! 
Wow. Now he mentioned Uber One, but let me just make it clear he dodged me because I'm the Arab king of rap. Just to give you an example, I'm going to talk about how that guy was a lad. Now his boys are just lads on ease making them ladies, and that shit makes me bad. <laughs> but I hate a lady without a veil, that's why I'm going to cover that bitch Uber One from head to toe in a body bag. Yeah! yeah! That's the difference between you and I, something I've, somebody should have told you. I'm a soldier and that's and I can carry the weight of the world on my shoulder, but you, you're stressing and the pressure building up is crushing your chest in. How are you going to survive this verbal pressure when it's clear from your skinny body type you ain't bench pressing? <laughs> Never say that, let me ask you a question. Is it worth investing in a skeleton that looks like that monster from that movie with Will Smith? If so, then I am legend. Yeah. Let me tell them so. Yeah. Wait, let me tell them so. If I beat you, this ain't no conspiracy because you're skull and bones. Don't keep secrets because the world will know. If you say I lost this, I'm hiding your body with the rest of the skeletons in my closet back at home. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> And if these words aren't hurting you, I don't need the chrome. If these words aren't hurting you, I don't need the chrome because I spit pearls of wisdom harder than kidney stones. Break my branch off my poetry and hit you till it's known that my sticks and stones will break your bones. Yeah. So I'm killing this skeleton with a turban, but I don't think you're getting this. Shut up or I kill you. Ahmed the dead turban. <laughs> You can't come next to me. House, you're light compared to a construction of buildings and bars, a complex city. Wait, slow it down. I said you can't come next to me. House, your lines compared to my construction and building of bars with complexity. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And the truth is, this is your downfall. Like a jet to ocean, it's plain to see. I didn't come with no Indian jokes. I came here to beat him lyrically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Round two on this gun. Right now, you're talking a lot of shit. But outside of the battle, you're the biggest dick rider. Yeah, you're right, I'm skinny. So when I fuck your mum, I put my whole body inside a floppy vagina. Oh! And I'm, I'm 18 and you're 25, you won't be successful. Your time is up and you're a cunt, so no one wants to accept you. There is no label on the record, they would all just reject you. That is the number one reason why I will never respect you. And you're fucking old, you're better off giving up. I don't usually say that, but that's how much you really suck. So your time to shine is over, now go and give up your gloves. You're just like this frigid bitches. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> you fucking asshole, why are you getting mad for? Your dad called, he told me to tell you that you're a bad sport. So I asked your dad, how the fuck is your son a bad sport? Then your daddy said that you never hack it in handball. <laughs> Speaking of handball, I'ma use this scheme to push him down to the bottom where he belongs. Cause he never entered a freestyle battle so he doesn't deserve this and isn't gonna be here very long. So what I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't even be here, but you're acting like a king. You better shut your ass up cause you're up against Hajar Singh. You're thinking you're a king? Ma what do you even mean? I ain't talking New York and I say I'm moving down to Queens. Ooh. And come on man, you cannot even rap, you are whack. I'm not hungry but I'm moving down to Jack's. Cause you're motherfucking dumb, kinda like your fucking mum. Now it's time for me to move you down to motherfucking dunce. The reason that I'm saying this is cause you do not deserve this shit. You're a fucking loser. You should be in the reserves, you bitch. This stupid, this stupid faggot's got the wackest of rhymes. I don't mean handball, but get your ass to the back of the line. Nice. And don't fucking look at me like that. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Answer the damn question, you ain't fucking <laughs> talking You're so fucking demented, I bet your mum is a prostitute She's also a hottie too, I'm pretty sure you're adopted, dude <laughs> And this motherfucker's trying to be a music artist You don't deserve it, bitch Me and you are battling right now You don't deserve this shit Next time, wait your turn, you dick, you worthless prick If you wanna be a real artist, go learn from him <laughs> hey. yeah. Final round on Hoodlum Poet I hold a Glock to a clock Make it reach its hands for the sky, freezing time and now that I pause it, I'ma play with it and make a rewind. Cause I see murder backwards, sweet like red rum. I'm like the devil jizz and I'm as evil as they come. My evil riddance will fuck with your mind till you ejaculate thoughts of suicide. Impregnating your brain with a fetus that kicks so hard it kicks your brain outside. Exposing it to my think tanks or aiming at the sky. Waiting for its commander to make a rain missiles all at one time. Onto your brain blowing it to pieces. That's what I call brainstorming bitch, admit I blow your mind. Oh, I'ma yeah. make your head spin. Oh, oh, I'ma oh, make your head spin. Yeah. You got shit for brain, I flush that shit. Devastator call me. He said my lead clog with shit rappers plunge that shit So I got beast mode with my gat, I go remote Click, click, click I'm such a beast, biblical scriptures predicted me 666 six, six, And you ain't beating me Cause you're no god of rap All you do is talk shit Holy crap So fuck what you say Dick in your mouth, ball and sack Nobody wants to hear it, just zip a shot Body back Cause if you, keep take, if you keep taking shots for my lyrical bars like that You're gonna end up dead Period Bloody rag Cause I'm Arab Mafia Wogfather with my shoddy bang You can run to the rooftops, I'm a climber, grab 
inside this bitch, thrown to the floor, Wogzilla, body slam, your shots ricochet off this Arab, Lab Kelly, Iron Man, my skins are so complex, I cripple your mind to save it. I am sad, you wanna, wait, wait, you wanna battle me? Present credentials, you're crazy, so damn insane, wait, slow it down, I said you wanna battle me? I'm presidential, crazy, Saddam Hussein, I got so far of thinking, don't fuck with this brain, cause you were all waiting for Indian jokes, but I just made it very fucking clear, I'm the king of this lyrical game. Yeah. <laughs> Final round, Hajar Singh! Hajar Damn, Hajar. Alright, listen. <laughs> Since nobody today's station feels you, I'ma use as many train stations as I can to kill you. <laughs> this motherfucker's mental. I asked your mom which part of a pussy she wants me to fuck. She said central. <laughs> <laughs> and your mom is such a brown hole, I wanna fuck her at town hall. <laughs> I, I don't know why your mom's not doing anything. We're meant to be fucking, but she just stands still. Maybe your mama don't wanna fuck me, but I know you're grand, <laughs> oh. Now you're looking kinda confused, just like all these women and boys. Maybe you don't understand, maybe you're milsing the point. This guy doesn't even know how to battle, so why do you guys think that he's good? So many people wanna bash him, but he's from a Lebanese hood. So that means in the West he might be safe and he might get away, yeah he could. Since you're Lebanese, the West wouldn't bash you. But I know the East would. <laughs> now, now you're getting paranoid. Why are you para? What's the matter? I'ma put you in my camera and send you to camera matter. And by the way, I was just wondering, what's your religion, man? I'm uh, Muslim. Now I understand why he doesn't go to sit in ham. And I hate your face so much. Stop looking towards me. I feel like stabbing you in the face where it looks like you have more cheeks. I wanna use something prickly to make sure that your jaw bleeds. So I ask my Asian friend. Bro, do you have a thorn, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> I'ma take you around Sydney in the back of my taxi. I hope I sign a tree so you crash and die in the back seat. The places that'll take you, I'm telling you that the weather's cool. The taxi ain't automatic, so I will make the lever pull. I'm just an amateur. I'm just an amateur, cause I'm learning the peas. Before I start the car, I will put in the circular key. Before I make you crash, I'ma take you up for the best time. Not sure about the north, but I know for sure that the west ride. And you're the only faggot with a dick on lady pregnant pills. I'ma drive you up at next six or just maybe seven hills. I'm gonna go so fast, I hope we collide with a tree. I hope we die cause of the roads, and I make this a killing spree. You're just another rapper that's walking around with general skill. You think that you can beat me, I think that you need a mental pill. You think that you will make it, I'm telling you that you never will. Now I'm here today to kill you. You all the way in Pendle Hill. Yeah! Alright, that's it, what's up? Fucking judges! Alright, so it's right for you know I'm yeah, we just watched the battle between uh them two cats. I'll give it to Hoodlum and three, man, because it's pretty good. The third uh, battle, third round was crazy, like both of them came with it, but Hoodlum in one and two, and I reckon the third one as well, he took that as well. So yeah, Hoodlum. One three. What's up? Um I reckon Hoodlum took that one. Uh, it was a great performance by both of them, both coming with strong bars. The third round from Harjit Singh was definitely like, fucking, that was good shit. I think, it, I really like that. But um, I think Hoodlum just took it with the presence and a, quite a few more metaphors that he strung out and kept playing on the same point for longer. So I think I'll have to give it to Hoodlum. Yeah, that was an interesting battle. Harjot's new, Hoodlum's new, so it was kind of unsure where it would go. But um, yeah, Hoodlum just took it in three. He really closed it with his metaphors. Just even just the simple repetition of ending every line with the whole like winning it lyrically, no Indian jokes. It was just really effective. Fuck you, fuck station. We got the fucking decision. The fucking winner, Hoodlum poet. Yeah, yeah. Go fuck yourself. Yo, this is Station. Don't like us on Facebook, don't fucking follow us on Twitter, and don't fucking watch us on YouTube. Fuck you, fuck Station. Fuck Station. Fuck station. We original. We ain't following the crowd. We be doing what we want, whether or not we allowed. One us when they diss us, but they just don't miss us. Now we use it as a catchphrase. I think they pissed us. Fuck Station. I think they is, man. They took shots at Station. We didn't diss them. They said fuck Station, but nobody listened. They regret what they did like a criminal in prison. Fuck Station. 